Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Pagga and let's play some chess and enjoy. I hope there's something to be taken as well, learning as well from it. Let's begin. Okay, I'll just unmute the tab as well. Okay, I'm going for the center now. And exchange the pawns, play pawn forward. Yeah, this looks like a strange move because I'm blocking my own bishop, but then idea is to bring the bishop over to c6 eventually and then knight over to d7. Might look slow, but it is effective in its own ways. Okay, just making sure that the bishops can be exchanged as well. I just remove the pin as well. Um, this knight move doesn't bother much. Well, castle. Open doesn't take, okay. I think I can go here. He loses the rook. That's a bad move. Let's get the knight out and exchange them. Trying to maintain this diagonal. It's not a problem. Um, can get my rook here as well or what should we do? Let's just improve the position of the rook. Open and does take. I have to take with the knight so that I still defend the h7. I can go here and take the knight maybe. Maybe it's too early to take the knight. I have this pawn forward which blocks the knight hopping in over here. I have this knight move as well which would block the diagonal completely for the bishop. Okay. Now it makes more sense. I don't know. Just blocking the diagonal. I can take this knight out of the game so that there's less pressure. The queen is also active now. Can you give a check for now? Maybe come back. Knight goes back. We want to take here. Maybe go ahead with the queen. Play queen above and then try to exchange the queens. Okay, this hits my rook. But I'm okay. I'll take a pawn at least for now. Ideas of giving a check. You can still give a check first. Oh, that's mate or my opponent is losing a queen very quickly. If he goes here, that's checkmate. If he goes backwards, knight comes in with a check and the opponent loses the queen. So the game is dusted. Yep. Over. As I said, it was pretty comfortable once my opponent let go of one of the defenders of the king's side. So. It's always important to make sure your pieces are fine and develop nicely. I got a decent square for my bishop, I would say. And then trying to develop slowly. Cancel first and then trying to exchange the bishops of the board. Bishop goes back, which gives me the advantage. Even if it doesn't go back, I'm pretty much in the game. It's 0.3 only in favor of white. And I can take the bishop. Um, but bishop goes back trying to add the long diagonal towards the h7 eventually trying to have a checkmate pattern But it doesn't work. So I take on the rook open takes back. I get the knight out And he takes the knight and I take back with my knight so that everything is sorted there Again, I can block but I first play pawn forward um, so that so yes, the idea can be going here uh, an opponent can still go ahead with the knight and then I can probably think of uh, placing 
the uh, pawn forward as well maybe taking the knight is also a good option here uh but yes a pawn forward move would move my knight out of the game maybe this g5 was also a nice square to defend h7 anyways in the game i played pawn forward first so that knight doesn't come over to g5 and then knight goes to h4 i go ahead with knight e4 pawn forward by opponent and i give a check first come back uh, I can take the knight any point of time, but I decide not to, uh, and went ahead with queen f6. Uh, the problem with knight taking with an, uh, the knight with the bishop was the pawn can block my bishop permanently, and then bishop has to come back, which will intervene my queen's way as well. So just trying to make sure that bishop is active, I didn't exchange. The knight goes back. Uh, and yes, I did place the right, right move, which was taking on the queen. Here, my opponent first has to take the knight or place rook over to e1. Couple of moves up there, but as you see, as soon as my opponent tries, does a fork here and I take the pawn, I'm 4.9 ahead in the game. And the reason is simple. My knight and my queen and even my bishop are eyeing the right side of the attack. Whereas my opponent only has just one piece, which is trying to do something. Queen is kind of inactive there with my pawn chain is very strong. King is pretty safe and secure. So that doesn't bother me much. He does take the rook. And I went with queen over to e3. That's a check which will eventually uh, when go into a mate. Open can go here. I'll give a check. Comes back. That's another check. Goes there. And that's checkmate. So that was uh, not going to be. Yeah, of course he takes and then smothered mate. So that was never going to help my opponent and that's why he saw that coming and resigns. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with another interesting game of mine or maybe something else. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.